It is said that desperate times call for desperate measures, and indeed, two years of lockdown restrictions aimed at stopping the spread of COVID-19, having pushed many in desperate. Now, local leaders in Bukasa much in the division are proposing a controversial law to allow them slap Ugandans who walk around without face masks. The proposal comes as the spread of Omicron variant threatens to reverse efforts to reopen the economy. The only thing is to put discipline in Ugandans. You see, Ugandans are not disciplined. Now, for us, we think we are proposing that we, sh we shall do like in India, where a defaulter, an offender who does not put a mask, is slapped and then given a mask. Yasin has already designed a team of leaders, including defense secretaries, to implement the unusual COVID-19 restriction, if permitted. The Secretary for Defense or Security will be slapping a male. The Nava Chara, chairperson women will slap women. But after all, they will slap only few people. Then they will have discipline. And the team seems ready for action. Defense chairperson or their secretary should be able to slap the men. And for the ladies, it should be the chairperson women. Why are we initiating this? It's because we are trying to curb everybody to know and to do the awareness of wear it for yourself, wear it for me. Local councils, the decision, I follow up with it and I support it. And two, I would even wish that they should even be caned, put down and caned, so that by the virtue of caning them, they will listen and follow what they have been caned of. Lawyer Arias Narukola warns that the proposed law violates human rights. That will be contrary to the provisions of the Constitution, especially Article 24 of the Constitution, which provides to the effect that no person shall be subjected to inhuman, degrading, cruel treatment. He cautions the leaders to follow guidance from the Local Government Act. By law, should not be contrary to the Local Government Act, which gives you powers to make such a bylaw. It should not be contrary to the Constitution. And the same has to go through a process. When it is made by a local administrative unit like LC1, it has to be approved by LC3, it has to be approved by the Solicitor General, so that to ensure that the same does not contradict the provisions of the Constitution and any other law. During the second wave, Parliament passed a law on mandatory wearing of face masks and introducing a fine of 20,000 Ugandan shillings or six months imprisonment for defaulters. However, the implementation has since weakened. Story by Chris Semalimo Semakula for ZTV, Limitation.